Hi, I'm Adam Dunstan, and I am your professor for Anthropology of Religion, and I am thrilled to have you in this class, and I want to thank you for being part of this class. It's one of my favorite topics to teach, um, with such a large percentage of human beings identifying as religious, and with religion playing such a prominent role in aspects of our life, ranging from politics to um, family life, to um, economy, to our environmental views. Uh, it's really, I don't think there's many more important topics you could study. Admittedly, I'm a bit biased uh, since I am an anthropologist of religion. Now, I want to acknowledge first before I get too far into this video that I live and work in the land of the Denina. And, you know, land acknowledgement like that is not really enough, uh, but it's a starting. And I just want to acknowledge that when I start out a class. And then I want to talk um, more about some of that as we go deeper into the class, uh, but for now I wanted to make that acknowledgement. I have um, some things I want to share in this video about the structure of the course. There are 11 modules. Um, they take either one to two weeks, and um, I kind of design the weeks on a Monday, like on a, it starts on a Tuesday and it's on a Monday kind of schedule, although we do have a few modules that go over two weeks. So, um, there are, those 11 modules are grouped into three different units. At the end of each unit is a test, okay? Um, for each of the modules, the, each of those lessons, you'll have some stuff to read. There's not a required textbook in this course, so they'll just be readings on Blackboard. There will be lectures that will typically be videos, but might also be written for you to watch. And then sometimes there will be a test or some kind of assignment. There's not really a lot in the way of assignments in this course. There is the three tests. Um, there is the um, paper, the religious literacy paper, which we'll talk more about later in the course, but basically entails um, choosing a specific belief or practice from a specific religion and kind of giving it context and explaining it in such a way that an outsider could understand it. Um, and a couple of other things, but for the most part, this course is pretty light on assignments other than some of those larger things. Um, and it's intended to be high impact as far as you're learning, but not high impact as far as, you know, consuming your whole life in this cl class. A little bit about my background. Uh, I do have my doctorate in anthropology and then I was teaching at the University of North Texas for the past five years. Now I teach uh, here at University of Alaska Anchorage through the Kenai Peninsula College campus. And I have studied um, religion and especially how religion affects people's environmental views and environmental politics over the past 10 years with a particular focus on sacred sites and sacred landscapes, both with the Navajo Nation in the Southwest as well as with um, LDS Christians in New York. So I think I have some good expertise on this topic. I'm also just a nerd about religion. Honestly, I have been for a really long time, pretty much my whole life, but especially starting around age 18, I was kind of that nerd who, you know, checked out all the holy books from different religions in the library and just sat down and read them obsessively. So it's a topic I'm passionate about, and I hope I can convey some of that passion to you. Um, Another little bit about myself, I'm a first-gen college student, and, or I was a first-gen college student, and also I have depression and anxiety. And I bring these things up not to, you know, give you a biography, but instead to say um, all students have different kinds of backgrounds, and also all students have different kinds of challenges and things going on in their life. And especially now with COVID, a lot of us are taking care of kids, holding down multiple jobs, maybe out of the job. There's a lot going on in your life so other than school. If you need help, email me, a Dunstan, A-D-U-N-S-T-A-N, at alaska.edu. Uh, I also hold office hours through Zoom, Tuesday, 1130 to 1245, but I'm totally happy to meet by Zoom other times. Um, email me, talk to me. There's also a lot of resources through the university for people that are struggling, uh, whether that's in terms of mental health counseling or financial relief or financial aid, different things. So if you're struggling, I'm happy to be a resource and an advocate for you. So just, you know, shoot me an email. And other than that, I just wanna say, you know, I'm thrilled to have you in this class. So first step, if I were you, would be to go to the start here um, thing on the sidebar of Blackboard 
it'll kind of reiterate what I'm talking here about, about the structure of the course. And then beyond that, hop on over to module one and get going and see you in the course.